Welcome back to KMM Tech. Um, I had a question um, in the comments asking how to do an arrival rule. Um, so I thought I would just show you how to do that. And we'll look at my arrival rule first and I'll show you what I do and how I do it. And then I'll actually go through it and I'll actually recreate it for you as well. So I call my arrival rule, I'm back, which is this rule right here, I'm back. So inside of my rule, um, I have an, a trigger event of my iPhone arriving and then it has um, these switches get turned on, the garage door opens, and the mode switches to arrival. And then after five minutes, certain switches turn off. If you notice, the switches that are turned off are not the same switches that, are, um, that were turned on. Um, there are some that are left on. And then the garage door closes after five minutes, and then the mode switches from arrival to home. So the reason I have this arrival thing, you don't have to have the arrival thing. Um, I have certain rules that fire only during arrival mode. Um, so I needed to have that mode so those rules would be um, would, would only happen during that, that period of time. You don't have to do the arrival mode. You can switch yourself right to home if you wanted to, but this is how I have it set up. So let's show you how to do that. So let's go back out and I will create this arrival rule. And um, I'm actually going to, can I delete it from here? I think I can. No, I can't. I just wanted to leave this. I, I, I made this, this uh, video and then realized I was capturing the wrong screen. So let me just remove this rule and then I'll walk you through the whole thing. All right, so we're back. Let's go to rule machine. And we'll create a new rule. And we're going to call this delete arrival. So the first thing you need to have is you need to have um, the Hubitat um, application on your phone and make sure that geolocation is turned on. <coughs> if that is not turned on, this will not work. Um, so what that does is it allows you to have this, um, have your phone as a sensor and it will track your, as you leave and as you come and go from your, from the geo sensor, the geo fence around your house. So I have that all set up on my phone. So I go to here and this is going to be a presence sensor. So we scroll down to look for presence and my presence sensor is my iPhone and we'll hit update. And you'll see that it's set, it defaults to arrives. You can set it to leave. So if you want to set an away rule, you'll change this to leaves. But since we're doing an arrival rule, we want it so it's um, set to arrive. And that's our trigger. The next thing we need to do is we need to do, um, do our actions. So we're going to hit done with trigger events and go to select actions to run. So the first action that I have running is I have um, switches turning on. So we'll go to here, turn switches on. And then you can turn on whatever switches you want. So I'm just going to do these three switches for now. Update. Done with this action. The next thing I have that happens is the garage door opens up. So we go to actions and control garage doors. And we're going to open a garage door. And there's my garage door. Update. Done with this action. The next thing that happens is my mode changes to arrival. So it'll set mode and set mode to arrival. Done with this action. And then the last thing that happens, actually that's it. That's all that happens for right now. So um, let's just back out for one second. We'll take a look at what we've got so far. So when my iPhone arrives, the backyard basement heater and basement switches all turn on the garage door opens, and the mode switches to arrival. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up the rules that turn off those things and close the garage door and switch the mode after a delay. So we go back in, and we're going to add uh, control switches, and we're going to turn off switches this time. And if you notice on my rule, I didn't have the same switches that would turn on, turn off. Um, so you can do one, two, it doesn't matter how many you have, only one Whatever you know suits your, your need. Don't think that you have to turn them all off and on. And then update. Now before we close this, we need to have a delay. So we hit the delay switch and we change this to however long you want. Oops, I've got mine set for five minutes. And then done with this action. And then the garage door closes. Close garage door. 
that's the garage door. And we want to have a delay as well for five minutes. And then the last thing that happens in my rule is the mode changes from arrival to home. So we'll set mode to home. And that's going to be delayed five minutes as well. And now our rule is done. So just to recap, um, when my iPhone arrives, you'll need to have the switches. These switches turn on backyard, basement, heater, basement. The garage door is going to open and the mode will switch to arrival. After five minutes, these switches will turn themselves off. The garage door will close and the mode will switch from arrival to home. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will certainly either answer them in the comments or create a video like I did with this one. Um, please make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified when new videos go live, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.